looks like we got the clan here. Bobby Jaggers, uh, Mike Miller, and Rip Oliver. Don Kaj, first of all, I'd like to welcome Mike Miller back to the clan, back to the great Northwest, and for going over to Japan and representing the clan. I can't be in five places at one time, but I'm going to be on the next one, brother, I can tell you that. Billy Jerk up here saying, he's going to go, I'm going to go. Don Owen says, we should leave it up to the people who's going to go. Well, that ain't the way it goes, brother. My attorneys are too good. Don Owen is down to the point. It's already been signed, sealed, and it will be delivered next Saturday night. Who is going to be the winner, and who will go to Japan to represent the Northwest? Well, I know myself, as well as Mike, and Bobby knows that the Klan is strong, and the leader rules the Northwest, and the leader is going to Japan to represent the Northwest. Tell them what they, the talk is in Japan, Mike. You look here. You see this back here, baby? I've been to Japan, baby. I went over there. I've been over there for five weeks, Jack, and I've been whipping some booty. Well, let me tell you something. I come back. Rip Oliver had word of the big tournament they had going over in Japan. Well, let me tell you, there's posters everywhere. In Tokyo, in Nagoya, in Sapporo, all over the country of Japan. This tournament is the biggest one they've got all year long. So next, this match right here means everything. The one to go over and represent the Pacific Northwest in Japan. And I tell you what, Rip Oliver, you got every guarantee, you got every cause to go over and rep represent. Because let me tell you, there's only one crippler here, and that's Rip Oliver, and there's only one mean man, and that's Mike Miller, brother. So let me tell you something. Billy Jack Haynes, you look out, man, because don't be packing your bag yet, because Rip Oliver has his back already. You know, what everybody's forgetting here is this. Number one, Rip Oliver came back about in, in December, and he said the Klan was going to be bigger and better. I think you've got to agree the clan is bigger and better. He said we would be the tag team champions in a very short time. We are the tag team champions of the Pacific Northwest. Now, Don Owens has said that the NWA wants a representative in Tokyo. Well, you know, Rip Oliver is the leader of the clan. So I said, Rip and I got together, Rip said, Bobby, if I win that match and I go to Japan, you take care of the clan. I said, Scribbler, don't worry about it. It'll be done. But you know what the thing is, Billy Jack Haynes? Rip the Crippler Oliver is not ignorant. He realizes that tonight you've got a street fight and all week you've got tough matches in different towns. He realized that it's not just going to be next Saturday night. That man's going to go to the clan. It's going to be the man that can take the punishment. It's going to be the man that's going to stand in that ring and be the man to represent the Northwest. Now, I heard him talking about Coco Samoa. I know Coco Samoa. Jimmy Snooker's cousin, one of the biggest and toughest high flyers in professional wrestling. He flies like a bird. Well, I want to tell you something, Billy Jack Haynes. It won't work, Daddy, because the Crippler's got the clan, and all you've got is chicken feed, brother. Tell him, Crippler. But it all boils down to, I said it time and time again, the assassin will be returning in the future. Mike Miller's returned from Japan. Bobby Jaggers is here. He doesn't lay out any better. Rips or Crippler Oliver has got his passport already. And all I've got to do is put your shoulders down. One, two, three. No interference, Billy Jack. I'm going to ask Mike Miller. We've got these belts. And if I get Mike Miller to talk to Don Owens, I'll raise him myself if I have to. Tommy Zink, all the belts are going around the clan's waist, brother, where we can get a wheel bow and haul them all over the northwest. But my main concern right now is getting through the night, getting through the week, and beating, putting Billy Jack's shoulders one, two, three. And I know I can do it. If I have to cripple him up somewhere this week, it don't matter. Remember the last time we visited Treya? All the people was hooping and hollering. Almost got hurt bad, Michael. Almost got hurt bad. Well, brother, 
I'm going back there, and I'm going all over the Northwest, and I'm also going to Japan, Billy Jerk. <laughs> if there's anything left to you after tonight, which I doubt there is, I'm going to take you, and I'm going to put your shoulders down right here next Saturday. I don't care if it's on TV or not. It don't matter to me. I'm going to beat you. One, two, three. Awesome, Mike Miller, awesome. let's get down the bell. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, we'll be right back with more after this time. Guaranteed. Your best buy on a color TV is at Tom Peterson. Our no-hassle guarantee says it all. Buy the Zenith 19-inch color TV 257, GE 25-inch console 444, Magnavox 13-inch color TV 179, RCA 19-inch color TV 279, best price 19-inch color TV 188. Now that's Tom Peterson, guaranteed. tires, don't miss our Unipro dealer sale on high-performance Uniroyal tires. Our premium white wall Tiger Paw Plus for as low as $39.95. The all-season steel belted radio that U.S. government tests project a tread life of 78,000 miles and pay as little as $29.95 for our steel belted Uniroyal Rally 280 high-performance tire. Hurry to your participating Uniroyal tire dealer for big savings on Tiger Paw Plus, Rally 280, and most other famous Uniroyal tires. For exciting college basketball, watch the Pac-10. At Oregon, we are looking forward to competing in the Pac-10. I'm Don Munson, coach of the Oregon Ducks, inviting you to follow all the teams as we battle out for the tough Pac-10 title. The Pac-10, the Conference of Champions. Live from Eugene, the Arizona Wildcats meet the Oregon Ducks. Thursday night at 8 on TV 12. This is it. It's main event time. There's Bobby Jaggers in the ring. Here comes, here comes Tommy Zink through the crowd. Oh, my. Oh, you better gather everybody around now because it looks like Bobby Jaggers is going to go after that bounty that he placed on the head of Tommy Zink. We were wondering when this was finally going to take place. He's been uh, eluding avoiding the issue for a long time and now they're going to meet head on here's don Owen to make the announcement of our main event tonight take it away don ladies and gentlemen don't forget that on tuesday march the 25th at the coliseum we're going to have a real spectacular extravaganza a double cage match two matches in a cage with the road warriors against the russians in an all-out war Sergeant Slaughter, and the tickets will go on sale a week from Monday at the Coliseum and G.I. Joe's. So get over there and get your tickets early because this is going to be a big crowd. The next event will be the best two out of three falls are to a TV time limit. Introducing in this corner, 255 pounds from Texas, Bobby Jagger. His opponent in this corner, 235 pounds from Arizona, the holder of the Northwest Heavyweight Champion, Chip Tommy Zane. What do you say? <laughs> oh, oh, that was okay. Undefeated, but not for long, brother. Okay. Well, that will remain to be seen, and we will see it right now. Tommy Zink, still undefeated, still the Northwest Heavyweight Champion. Bobby Jaggers, one half of the Tag Team Champions. They both have their belts in there. And they're both going to try to get each other a few belts in the ring. This should be a dandy match. If you have a club or a school or a church or a group, an organization of any kind you'd like to raise money for, 
Well, you can book professional wrestling into your area. You know that? To raise money for that charity. You bet. Call Barry Owen. Area code 503. 484-0840 and Barry's got all the information for you. He'll tell you how you can go about booking professional wrestling into your area to raise money for a charitable cause. Both men lock up and we are underway. Ladies and gentlemen, into the turnbuckle goes Tommy Zink. Clean break? You think so? Tommy made it a clean break. <laughs> Bobby could not do anything about that one. Bobby Jaggers backs off. And both men lock up again. Oh, arm bar by Jaggers, a reversal arm bar by Zink, a reversal by Jaggers, and an oh, beautiful move by Tommy. Tommy Zink, one of the most exciting professional wrestlers to ever hit the Northwest any time in the history of professional wrestling. It is no wonder that this man is still undefeated and that he is the current Pacific Northwest heavyweight champion. An exciting one. Side headlock by Tommy Zink on Bobby Jaggers. Oh, we got a lot of things going on. My word, we got uh, Jimmy Snooker's cousin coming in. Coco Samoa. He'll be here next week. We've got, uh, well, the rumor has it that the assassin is coming back to join the clan. We don't know exactly when. Oh, shoulder tackle by Bobby Jackers. Down goes Tommy. And another shoulder tackle. Boy, they can hear those pop of it. Only trip take down and lock him up. Tommy Zink. On Bobby Jaggers. Well, he hasn't got into any kind of a figure four leg lock. But boy, that still smart just like that. Man, oh man, so many things going on. We got that the the uh, the fight for the big Japanese tournament is gonna be happening next Saturday night between Rip Oliver and Billy Jack Haynes. Who will represent the Northwest? Who will it be, Billy or Rip? We'll find out next Saturday night right here at the Portland Sports Arena. The winner will represent the Northwest in that big Japanese tournament. First, we got uh, our main event here going on right now. Later on tonight, we've got a street fight between Billy Jack Haynes and Rip Oliver. Although that will not be on television, You'll hear the results of it on radio. Radio station KRDR, 1230 on your AM dial, will have the results of all the matches, including the ones you've been seeing and the ones that follow. We've got quite a few matches that follow this one. And you can hear the Pro Wrestling Report on KRDR. Now, it'll be on at 1240 this morning. And repeat it again Sunday afternoon at 1205. Bobby Jagger standing outside, trying to get to take the feeling into his arms, his legs. I've got a nice letter here from uh, folks from White City. I don't, I'm not sure where White City is. Sounds like a neat place. I don't know if it's in Oregon or Washington. I understand the people there all love wrestling. I'd appreciate it if we could announce the results of matches as they never know in small towns. Newspapers don't print the results. Well, I'll tell you, the only thing we can do really is tell you what happened on the previous Saturday. And we'll start doing that for you. Both men lock up. Zink against the ropes. And oh, I locked that one and Zink comes back with a right hand at Daggers Daggers. <laughs> Daggers Daggers a rhyme and out he goes. Oh, yeah, he caught that drop kick. Right smack in the mouth. And he's spitting up a little blood, too. Oh, he did. He caught that one right in the mouth. And he rolled on outside. Now the crowd chanting, Cry Baby Jaggers. This is our main event. Best two out of three to a TV time limit. Bobby Jaggers still uh, got some blood around the mouth. And he really... He caught that drop kick right on the chops. Now he's saying a few words to uh, Tommy Zink. And I'm glad I'm not going over the air. Bobby Jack with the side headlock. And Tommy Zink powering right out of that. To a top first lock on Jaggers. And no way Jaggers are going to find his way out of that. Oh, he grabs the hair and down goes Zink. Bobby Jaggers grabs the hair. 
Boy, Tommy is a tad upset. A lot of people here tonight with cameras, too. He snapshots, smoke flashing all over the place. Oh, the folks are really jumping and hollering tonight. Love to, we love to hear that. Love to see it. Always have a good time. Big in professional wrestling in person. Hammerlock. Tommy Zink. Bringing those knees down on the back of Bobby Jaggers. Right on the arm, too. Crowd keeping count. Uh -huh. Ten of them. Tommy Zink. Even that hammerlock locked in on Bobby Jaggers. I just try to figure out a way to get out of this one. Don't forget now, the tickets go on sale Monday, February the 24th for that spectacular extravaganza at the Coliseum on Tuesday, March the 25th. Tuesday, March the 25th. If you haven't seen any of Don Owens' extravaganza, then you haven't seen professional wrestling in its very best absolutely very best do not accept any substitute it doesn't get any better it doesn't come any better than don owen's promotion down goes zink and another leg trip takes out beautiful move tommy zink nailing bobby jaggers for the second time in this match with that same move i turned that into a hammerlock and we'll get you out of the coliseum in time to get you home in time for plenty of rest to get to school and to work the next day. Don't worry about that. On Tuesday, March the 25th. Boy, what a card Don Owen has like. I can certainly understand why he calls it a spectacular extravaganza. And why he says that this one is even bigger and better than the others have been. Two cage matches on the same card that's never been done before in the United States. But you're going to see it at the Coliseum on the 25th of March. The Road Warriors against the Russians in one cage match. A cage match. Sergeant Slaughter is going to be on the card. Another cage match will feature World Heavyweight Champion Rick Flair and Dusty Rhodes in a cage match. The same kind of a cage that they were in a few months ago when Flair broke the leg of Dusty Rhodes. Rhodes is still out to settle that one. He's still out to make Flair pay for all the time that Rhodes missed while he was recuperating from that broken leg. Tickets go on sale the 24th of February at the Coliseum and G.I. Joe. Now the crowd getting on Bobby Jaggers again with that Cry Baby Jaggers chant. Some folks talking about wondering if the uh, uh, now look at that Jaggers again a sneak attack, but it didn't pay off. <laughs> arm bar by Tommy Zink, and he's gonna I think separate arm from shoulder here in a minute. Oh, down goes Jaggers, and Tommy Zink sitting on that arm. Uh, locks it into a arm bar, locks into a figure four. Some people wondering if the uh, if the midgets were still in town. No, the midgets were just here for a short time. And, but boy, they were exciting and very entertaining. And we'll let you know when they come back, you know, when they'll be coming back. Tokyo Joe and Little Mr. T. A lot of, a lot of folks still talking about <laughs> the matches that those guys were in over the past couple of weeks. Bobby Jaggers. In typical Jagger style. Oh, uh, now look at this. The power of Tommy Zink, who's got plenty of it. And there's no way Jaggers could fight that, except just like that. Grabbing the hair. And now Zink grabs the hair, but unfortunately he got caught. Tommy Zink, another dedicated bodybuilder, working out all the time. Again, the 
break the hold of Bobby Jaggers, and he does it very effectively. One, two, and Jaggers again grabs the hair. Now Zeke trying to work around. And he did. Aha. Uh -huh. Turn about his bare arm bar. And now look, look at look at Jaggers using the trunks again. Oh, big elbow coming off those ropes. Oh, that just took the wind right out of Tommy Zink. Jack is dropping that elbow again. Hooked him in. One, two. Oh, he's using the trunks. He used the trunks again. Bobby Jaggers. First the elbow. And then he uh, he hooked Tommy for the pin. But then he used the trunks to keep Tommy down there. And the first fall of our main event goes to Bobby Jaggers over Tommy Zink. We'll be back with more right after this. Thank you, Portland and Southwest Washington, too, for our best year ever. And to ensure that 1986 is even better, we've got microwave ovens on sale. Four great brands of microwaves, all with touch control, variable power, defrost cycle, your choice, only $188. Litton, $188. Westinghouse, $188. Magic Chef, $188. Sharp Carousel, $188. That's Tom Peterson. That thing ain't never gonna work. Why don't you get a horn? Great ideas have always met with a little skepticism. The automobile was one, and now there's another. True draft beer in a box. New Miller High Life Genuine Draft. It has the smoothness of draft beer because it's cold filtered, not heat pasteurized like most bottled beers. It works! It works! said it couldn't be done. Three days only, Ron Tonkin Honda slashes prices. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every single car and truck, new or used, will cost you less. To make room for 86 models at the port, it's a $2 million sale with special savings on all new Hondas. Save up to $1,000 on new Accords. Pay less for your new Civic. Get a great deal on PRX Style. Bring your car, paid for or not, you'll get top allowance. Friday, Saturday, Sunday only at Ron Tonkin Honda, 122nd Avenue between Burnside and Stark. It's the semifinals, round two of the Tournament of Champions on Star Search 86. Join host Ed McMahon as the eliminations began in a search for the winners of the world's greatest talent hunt. There's $100,000 at stake in each category. And before it's over, one and a half million dollars will be awarded to America's best new performers. Catch the superstar competition. Be there and discover the winning stars on the semifinals, round two. Star Search 86. Sunday night at 9 on TV 12. Well, he took the first fall of our main event. event very decisively, very decisively, yes, I did, Don Cotts. You shut up. You're the only man in the world to be placed by a piece of metal that big, a microphone stand. <laughs> I'm here to talk about Pendleton tomorrow, man, at the Armory. 7 o'clock starting time. I'm going to be there. McMinnville at the Armory on Monday night, 8 o'clock starting time. I'm going to be there, too. Centralia, Washington, at the college gym. The whole clan's gonna be there. Medford on Wednesday, all the way down there in Snowville. Armory, 8 o'clock. And the whole clan's gonna be there. Then we go to Salem on Thursday. And you better get some tickets to Salem, brother, because that place is jumping down in the Armory. Then Friday, we don't go back to, Cusa, to uh, Eugene because they got a bunch of dumb loggers around here that want to have a convention. So I have to go all the way to Goose Bay, Oregon, Marshall High School. Not only me, the clan's got to go too. We're going to be there. We're going to drive down in style, man. We're going to be there. The next Saturday night, brother, right here, it's between the Crippler and the Snotty Nose Funk Daddy. So who goes to the Big T, you know what I mean? The Big T being Tokyo. My money is on the Crippler Daddy. And people in every one of these towns, Pendleton, McMinnville, Centralia, Bedford, Salem, Coos Bay, and it's back here, ripped the cripple over, it's gonna leave pieces, pieces of Billy Jack Haynes' rear in every one of those towns. And you know something, Tommy Zink? I hope I'm wrestling you, because you're getting the same treatment you're getting tonight. That's me beating on your head. We'll be right back right after this. John Wayne is...
is a one-eyed whiskey guzzling marshal out for revenge. True Grit, Sunday night at 5 on TV 12. Guaranteed. Your best buy on a video recorder is at Tom Peterson. Our no-hassle guarantee says it all. Buy the Sanyum VCR wireless remote 238. Magnavox VCR multi-programmable 288. Sharp 110 channel cable ready 339. Sony wireless remote only 379. Now that's Tom Peterson. Guaranteed. Well, it's the one for the money, two for the show, to get ready and not go catch. There are some great reasons to go to Breslin Pontiac GMC Trucks, Portland's only Pontiac dealer right now. One is for the easy 7.9 GMAC financing until February 22nd. Two is for a huge sell-a-thon of 86 Pontiacs and GMC trucks. And three is for this awesome 86 Firebird for only $230.53 a month. Or this feisty Fiero for only $191.47 a month. Breslin Pontiac GMC trucks, easy to find, easy to shop at 35th and Sandy. You probably already know that beer is made from barley. Well, this is what it looks like. Now, most brewers buy their barley. What's different? One brewer grows all its own barley and has for over 40 years. Now, why is that? I mean, why not just buy the barley? Hey, barley's barley, isn't it? I'm Bob Lamphere. Right now is the time to buy at Stephen and Chrysler Plymouth. We have 7.5% financing on all horizons. Own this horizon for only $188 down and $153 per month. Or take a $500 factory rebate. Receive 8.6% financing on his premium GPS or get a $1,000 factory rebate. These incredible deals will end soon. So come see us for your number one Chrysler connection. Beaver and Chrysler Plymouth. I'm going to ask our director, Larry Neat, back on the bus. What did he say I could be replaced with, Larry? A mic stand. Is that right? Well, I wish I'd known he said that. I'd have done something about that. <laughs> okay. We are back at ringside. You can see the folks here. Oh, boy. First fall went to Bobby Jackets. But, again, it was, you saw it. It was, uh... Jagger's uh, fighting his own fight, grabbing the trunks. Got the pin on Tommy Zink. Now, we've got to remind you here, Tommy Zink, up to right now, is undefeated. If Bobby Jaggers wins one more fall, that will end Tommy Zink's undefeated string, and Bobby Jaggers will win his own bounty that he put on the head of Tommy Zink. And that bounty is now up to about $7,000. Tommy, uh, Tommy really had a disadvantage because he has to fight. He has to fight a style of Bobby Jackers. And that's the kind of a style that you just don't know uh, what's going to be coming, what's going to be happening next. Bobby Jackers uh, explaining to referee Sandy Barr, no, I just dropped the elbow and uh, got the pin. I didn't grab any trunks or anything like that. And of course, we all know better. We saw that camera's eye was right on that. The camera sees all. One of the reasons because we've got such a darn good camera crew up here. They, uh, they are unsung heroes up here in the process. It should remain that way. You should hear some of them sing. <laughs> and of course, under the direction of Larry Need out there in the bus. Working on that arm of Bobby Jaggers, Tommy Zink, trying to turn that arm to jelly. Next Saturday, if you can possibly make it, get everybody together, bring them on down here to the Portland Sports Arena. You'll see Jimmy Snooker's cousin, Coco Samoa. He'll be here for the very first time. You will see Rip Oliver and Billy Jack Haynes battling to determine who will uh, represent the Northwest in that big tournament in Japan. The winner goes to Japan.
and who knows what else you, you may even see the the assassin coming back i don't know there's so many uh shocking things happening every week now it's hard to keep track of everything rumors flying all over the place about the clan getting bigger and stronger now you can certainly see what's happening to the clan now mike miller's back uh, shoulder tackle by tommy zink and oh, oh man there goes tommy there goes Tommy, just wrapped upside down on those ropes, and Bobby Jaggers is going to take advantage of the situation, of course. A hard stomp right in the stomach, another stomp on the chest, and out onto the concrete floor goes Tommy Zink. Bobby Jaggers was waiting for him, but he came across that ring. Here comes Jaggers outside. He's not going out to help Tommy. He's a bit on that. He's right. He's coming up behind Tommy. Well, man, what's he, what's he going to do? It's, oh! right into the eighth right into the side of the ring he just slams tommy's head right inside the ring that kicks him right in the chest down goes tommy again now bobby jaggers all he did was just break that count referee sandy Barr has to cut, uh, start the count all over again now oh come on a holy mackerel the body slam right on the concrete floor bobby jaggers with a body slam on tommy zinc right on the concrete Oh, uh, he just wants to save that $7,000 of his, that's all. And he's going to do it any way he can. He's going to do it any way he can. Right now, Tommy Zink, he's a hurt. He's hurting right now. Man, I don't know how a man's back, legs, and feet can take being body slammed out there on that concrete floor. Tommy Zink having a terrible time trying to get back in that ring. Bobby Jaggers coming back up on him again. Bobby Jaggers with an elbow right on top of the forehead. Right on the forehead. Oh, that elbow so devastating. Oh, now look at that, the fingers. He drove those fingers into the throat. That is such a dangerous maneuver. And it's so dangerous that that can not only do temporary damage, that can do permanent damage. Oh, that's too bad that uh, they have to resort to that, that kind of fighting. Tommy Zink trying to get back on his feet, trying to get back into the ring. I don't know why they don't just put Bobby Jaggers tie him to one of those corners and let Tommy back in. There's another right hand that puts Tommy on the apron of the ring. Tommy finally falling back into the ring. But there's Bobby Jaggers right there. And he whips Tommy into the ropes and that big elbow as Tommy comes off the ropes. All Jaggers needs is one more fall, and this baby is all over, because Jaggers has got it. He took the first fall. One, two, and oh, that was close. Tommy Zink kicks out just in the nick of time. Jaggers bringing that foot down right again on the shoulder. Jaggers. Jaggers has got things going his way right now with Tommy. This is best two out of three to a TV time limit. Bobby Jaggers just trying to get that second fall. All he wants. And he saves himself $7,000. And he breaks Tommy, J uh, Tommy Zink's uh, undefeated string. Zink undefeated right now. Boy, things do not look good for Tommy. Already down one fall, and Bobby Jaggers doing a number, as they say. Bring those knees down. Oh. And then look at that. He's choking him. He's just choking him. Jaggers going for the pin. One, two, and Zink kicks out again. Oh, that was close. Oh, we're going to go to Cardiac City here. They keep that up. Neck breaker by Bobby Jaggers. This could be the end of Bobby Zink, uh, Tommy Zink's. Oh, man. He did it again. He kicked out. He kicked out from a neck breaker. Now Bobby Jaggers just, I think, out of frustration right now. He's, he's doing everything he possibly can. Choking, gouging, whatever he can do, whatever he can get away with, he's doing. Referee Sandy Barr has to keep a close eye on this action. Trying to make sure that... Trying to make sure that that grasp it 
Bobby Jaggers has on Tommy Zink does not turn into a chokehold. As you know, if Bobby has a chance, that's exactly what's going to happen. Now the crowd starting their wheel on a beach chant. Direction to Bobby Jaggers. Oh, I saw you. I see a lot of very clingy signs <laughs> and banners in the crowd. Most of them directed at Bobby Jaggers. Jaggers trying to hang on to Tommy Zink. Tommy responding, though, to the crowd. The crowd providing that fan power. Oh, yeah. And Bobby Jaggers again goes with the hair, and down goes Tommy Zink. Tommy trying to show referee Sandy Barr what Jaggers did. Grab the hair. Boy, the crowd really, really getting behind Tommy, trying to shout encouragement. Trying to provide that fan power. And it works. Get that adrenaline flowing. And it does get that. That does for just that extra bit of power, that extra bit of strength to come back. Tommy, again, responding to the crowd. Jagger can sense that, too. He knows, he knows what that crowd is doing. Jagger just wants, all he wants to do is get this second ball and get his own money. Jagger, Jagger that time responded to the crowd. One, two, and again, Tommy Zink kicks out. Oh, my goodness. Tommy Zink drawing on that reserve power, that tremendous resiliency that he's got. But a lot of that is credit to the, uh, to the fans right here at the sports arena. I know a lot of you at home are probably screaming and hollering right now. For Tommy, Bobby Jaggers applying as much pressure as he possibly can. And that all drops down again. Jaggers just rolls Tommy Zink over. Jaggers just, uh-oh, there comes that elbow. Oh, Tommy Zink rolls out of the way, and Bobby Jaggers elbows the mat. Uh-huh, and Jaggers goes again. Jagger staying right on Tommy. Now, you know, that could felt very good. That had to jar Jaggers a little bit. But that elbow down full force right onto that mat. That mat, by the way, is not very soft at all. In fact, the mat, I've heard the wrestlers talk about the uh, mat here at the Portland Sports Arena. It's one of the harder mats in any of the cities that they uh, wrestle in. Now the crowd, the crowd again, starting there. They're chanting and shouting, we want Tommy. There goes Tommy, couple of elbow shots. Oh, he just took that elbow from Bobby Jaggers and he took it right on the jaw. That staggered Tommy. Flying mare by, by uh, Bobby Jaggers. We're right back where we were before. It won't be long now before time will become a factor. We are down to seven minutes to go in our main event. Seven minutes. Bobby Jaggers owns the only fall in this main event so far. Oh, no, victory roll! Victory roll by Tommy Zink. One, two, three, he's got it! Oh, just when Bobby Jaggers thought he had things going his way, Tommy Zink comes off those ropes and turns a back body drop into a victory roll, and the pin did even things up in our main event, all even a one fall apiece. We'll be back for the third and final fall right after this. Guaranteed. Your best buy on a color TV is at Tom Peterson. Our no-hassle guarantee says it all. Buy the Zenith 19-inch color TV 257, GE 25-inch console 444, Magnavox 13-inch color TV 179, RCA 19-inch color TV 279, best price 19-inch color TV 188. Now that's Tom Peterson, guarantee. If you think Chrysler Plymouth salespeople are busy now, wait till America hears this. 
Now your Northwest Chrysler Plymouth dealers offer 7.5 annual percentage rate financing or $500 cash back on new Plymouth Horizons, plus 8.6 annual percentage rate financing or up to $1,000 cash back depending on model. Hurry to your local Chrysler Plymouth dealer. He's got the financing for you. See your Northwest Chrysler Plymouth dealer today. Today in Music History, brought to you by Thick Rich Punch Ketchup in the new plastic bottle. Give it a big squeeze. Unforgettable. That hundreds of the most famous faces in show business came to pay their last respects to a man they loved, Nat King Cole. Known as the Mary Palladier, Nat King Cole died of lung cancer 21 years ago today, February 15, 1965. Introducing the Big Squeeze, Hunt's new 32-ounce plastic bottle. Give me a big, big squeeze, a little injection tea. Give me a big, big squeeze, a Hunt's new Big Squeeze, 32 ounces of the thickest, best taste in Hunt's ever. It's unbeatable. Give me a big, big squeeze. Give me Hunt's ketchup. Squeeze. Give him the Big Squeeze, only from Hunt. We're going to let Tommy Zink catch his breath for just a second. Brady Boone, boy, what a fantastic move Tommy laid on Bobby Jaggers, huh? That's definitely true. I tell you, uh, next week, it's, when it's all going to come down. It's just uh, the winner goes to uh, Japan to represent the Pacific, the Pacific Northwest. And uh, something that maybe you people don't know, I think you probably do, but Billy Jack does everything he does is for the people of, of Oregon, especially important in his hometown, where he's from. You don't know how much it really means to them to have the support of the people. And they really come out and really get enthusiastic. I mean, it, 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 I mean the desire starts in your own heart. But then when, when you get out there in the ring, the crowd, the fans, they really, they really pull you through sometimes. And like I said, it's all coming down next week. The winner's going to go to Japan to represent the Pacific Northwest. Billy Jack's going to fly uh, the Coco Samoan in, who uh, I've never met him, but I've heard nothing but unbelievable things. He's big, he's strong, he can fly got wings from what I heard. Uh, I'm going to be there. Tommy Zink's going to be there. And uh, the Klan is trying to up their artillery power. So we're going to do the same thing and bring in some, uh, some aces in our own hand and uh, get the job done. There's going to be no interference. It's going to be winner's day. Going. Okay, Brady, that's going to be next Saturday night right here at the Sports Arena. We'll find out who's going to be going to Japan to represent the Northwest. Tommy, you got your breath? Boy, what a, that was a tremendous move. I'll tell you that Jaggers is uh, really a tough customer. <laughs> But luckily, we're even at one fall piece. Jaggers, I heard you out earlier shooting your mouth off. Well, get it straight, fat boy. I'm the Northwest Pacific Heavyweight Champion. The belt's are on my way. If you want it, come and get me, baby. I'll do my talking in the ring like you just saw last fall. I can take what you can dish out. Don, as you know, we got a lot of things going on. The clan's stronger than ever. But we're bringing in the fighter jets. We got Coco Samoa, the flying Samoan. He's coming in here to be here next week, as I understand, Don. So the clan, look out. That big tournament. Billy Jack, I know you're going to do it. All you fans, please come back and support him and all of us next week. We want to see Billy Jack go to Japan. All right, all Thanks right. Time, Tommy, thank you. Ready? Uh, we'll see you later. We're going to go back out to the ring right now for our third and final fall of our main event. Get those wrestlers back out there. Fall even at one fall apiece. Tommy Zink heading back out to the ring. And uh, Bobby Jack is now coming out of the dressing room. And he's heading for the ring. You saw what happened in that second ball. Tremendous move by Tommy Zink. Tommy coming off those ropes. Bobby Jaggers thinking he's going to get a uh, back body drop on Tommy. Tommy uh, just dropped down and nailed Bobby Jaggers with a victory roll. And got surprised. So there's an element of surprise involved there. Jaggers completely caught off guard. And uh, Zink. Got the one, two, three, and evened everything up at one fall apiece. Beautiful move. Very exciting. And brought this crowd to their feet. <laughs> I think the crowd, however, was uh, certainly responsible for getting that adrenaline flowing in Tommy Zink. Getting Tommy really fired up. Tommy now making his way uh, through the crowd. And uh, getting into the ring, and we are ready to start our third and final fall of our main event. Time is of a factor now. We're down to about four minutes to go. 
Oh, Bobby Jagger just came back with a surprise smash right in the face of Tommy Zink. Tommy staggers against the ropes. There comes a whip into the ropes. Back body drop. That time, Bobby Jaggers made sure that he got the back body drop on Tommy Zink. Bobby trying to put this one away and end the undefeated string of Tommy Zink. He drove those fingers back into the throat of Tommy. Here comes an arm whip into that turnbuckle. Oh, an entire ring move. And he dropped that elbow on Tommy Zink. Tommy is down. One, two. Oh, oh, oh. Another close one. Tommy just powers out. The crowd is just uh, going crazy in here. Tommy Zink. Oh, Tommy coming back to the left and the right and another right. And he just took a rake across the face. Tommy against the ropes again. Bobby Jaggers again fighting his fight. Pops Tommy right in the mouth. In uh, the ropes goes Tommy Zink. And back there goes that victory roll. Is it going to work again? There goes Jaggers. One, two, and oh, he kicked his way out of that one that time. Bobby Jaggers, a front face lock on Tommy Zink, back Tommy into the turnbuckle. The crowd once again shouting for Tommy. Ooh, a forearm smash across the face, the flying mare by Bobby Jaggers on Tommy Zink. Bobby drops down, going for the pin, one, two, and a little kick out by Tommy Zink. He got him on that situation. Oh, backslide, backslide, Tommy Zink, backslide on Bobby Jackers. Oh, too far. Jackers rolls third over. Jackers, uh, another hard shot on the face. Oh, and Tommy Zink just came back with two tremendous right hands. And Jackers raked across the face again. And Zink falls into the rope. He's outside the ropes, and Jackers is... Days out of Jackers is just going crazy. Tommy fell outside. Jaggers, Jaggers may get himself disqualified. If he continues to uh, go weird. In the meantime, Tommy Zink has got to get back inside that ring because uh, referee Sandy Barnes coming. Oh, a shoulder from Tommy Zink. On an elbow. And Jaggers comes back with the right hand. Zink is coming back with the right hand. And we have run out of time. Is that it? Into the, hey, we've run out of time. And our main event and in a draw we are out of time we'll be right back right after this hi i'm bob vila millions of you have watched my home repair show on tv if you've been putting off those home repairs and improvements you were planning i've got something to show you as you can see i'm in the middle of laying a tile floor here in the bathroom what i wanted to show you is a book that takes you through a project like this step by step it's called Kitchens and Bathrooms, and it's part of the Time Life Books Home Repair and Improvement Series. What I'm about to do is outlined in the chapter on ceramic tile, right here on page 26. First, you roll up the sheet so that the bottom side is facing outwards. Then apply the mastic with a trowel, and then lay the sheet gently into place, and roll it out smoothly. If I'm going too fast for you, don't worry. It's all in the book, Kitchens and Bathrooms, step by step. Now let's go to the kitchen. What I'm doing here is reorganizing a cabinet to make better use of the space. I've removed the shelving and put in utility drawers. And on this side, I put in a sliding panel for a pot rack. And over here, I'm just putting the finishing touches on an additional storage panel. Now I'll be able to get to my pots and they won't get in the way. It only looks tough until you know where to look. Now let's go check out the den. See this bookcase? Well, I built it myself with this book at my side. Each volume of Home Repair and Improvement gives you all the tricks of the trades. Call now and you'll start receiving these helpful books, one about every other month. Keep only those you want, cancel anytime. With your first book, Kitchens and Bathrooms, you'll also get this 12-foot Stanley tape measure free with your purchase. The Time Life Books Home Repair and Improvement Series comes in handy in this house. It'll come in handy in yours, too. Well, I've got to go finish that bathroom tile. See you later. Call 1-800-235-3500 to examine kitchens and bathrooms for 15 days. When you decide to keep it, pages 1095 plus shipping and handling. Other volumes will follow, one approximately every other month. Keep only the ones you want. Cancel any time. So call 1-800-235-3500. That's 1-800-235-3500. Save with G.I. Joe's huge President's Day sale. Featuring quality products made in the USA. Shop G.I. Joe's President's Day sale today. Once again, the clan and Rip 
But Don Cox, you can see I got the Tony Lamas, I got the belt buckles to put up Billy Jerk said. I'm going to put it on them tonight. I'm going to put them on the Mardite Cylinder. I'm going to Mac Menfield. I'm going all over the Northwest, Centralia. The bunch of ignorant people up there think Billy Jack is their champion, their king. Tommy C, Brady Boo. Well, you look at that who's ruling the Northwest right here, brother, and this is planned. This is Oliver's Hour. Every time you turn it on, you're going to see the mean man. You're going to see Bobby Jagger. What's up, Bobby? Hey, Jack, hey. You are my interview time right now. We're scheduled for me, brother. We've got it all going on, Daddy. This is my interview. You stay out of it, son of Jack. I rule the Northwest. Park Sweetest. Get out of my face. Get up tired of you like you're tired of me. Schedule who's interviewing. But since we're up here, let's get it straight, Oliver. The feud's going to end like it started here three years ago. I know you don't fear me, and I don't fear you. Tonight we got a street fight. Next week I've got the Coco Samoa. Give me Super Fight Sunday's cousin. going to be in my corner. And you can go ahead and get Bobby Jaggers in your corner. And it's going to be pumped up, boy. And one of us is going to be hurt. And we're serious, bro. Don't punch your finger at me, Billy Jack. I'm going to be the Northwest, not you. One of us is going to go. May the best man win. We are now in the full way. Next Saturday night, and you know the right to determine the Northwest representative. And hopefully beginning to fall as we should be through the wettest portion of the weekend. Now the forecast for Portland, Vancouver. We're going to have some more clouds. There's some rain and drizzle in the forecast. About a 60% chance of rain tomorrow. It looks like uh, we may see a few breaks in the rain, but probably the clouds most of the day in the high about 60. All righty, that's the forecast. Keep your feet dry this weekend. You can join Tim and Gary for all the news on Monday evening. Have a nice weekend.